Hi everyone, I am back in front of you. Uh, thank you very much for staying with the channel. I know it's been two weeks since my last video, which is quite unusual for me. I normally put out a video every week. Uh, but if you caught my last video, you'll know that I've been working away from home and as a result, I've been quite busy and tied up. So thank you for sticking with me. I am back in front of you again. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but hopefully it's gonna be a good video. In our last video, we talked about remote, uh, remote play gaming services, things like um, uh, Steam uh, Remote Play. Uh, and we kind of experienced them, be it a fairly negative experience, but regardless, we, we kind of tried them out to see what it was like because of me working away from home. Uh, now, actually, somebody commented on that video and said, look, actually, the native app that you find on mobile devices tends to give you a much better experience uh, than, um, than using a laptop uh, and, and using either the Steam app on that or, or a web browser experience. So I thought, you know what, why don't we try it out? Let's have a look at using something like an iPad to play PC games. We're gonna be using Steam Remote Play today. In fact, iPad is over here in this case, which is a great time to talk about this video sponsor. So this video is sponsored by iCosia. So iCosia are known to make a range of mobile accessories, cases, lighting for content creators, chargers, and much, much more. They're known for their high quality products and today we've got a 13.3 inch laptop sleeve for them as part of their sponsorship for this video. Let's get into this real quickly. Uh, this particular thing is gonna be great for transporting small ultra portable computers, like I said, up to 13.3 inches. Actually, could also work really well for iPads, tablet computers, surfaces, that sort of stuff. You've got two zipped compartments here in the top. One of them here is gonna be where you actually put the laptop. We've actually got a shoulder strap in there as well. We'll come back to this in a second. This is a nicely padded, finished little pouch. That's actually really nice. Where you can keep your laptop, where it keeps it clean and protected. Lots of heavy padding. And then this is where it gets really good. I want you to think about your time going back to school, back to the office, whatever it might be. This is a nice, lightweight, good quality carry case. And this is where it gets cool. Loads of organization pouches. You've got uh, elastic here. You've got these netted pouches. You've got another zip container here. This thing is very versatile. Could be absolutely great. Like I say, if you're returning to the office, returning to school, if you're a content creator, on the move, if this is the sort of thing that will help you, make sure you check out the link in the video description. Okay, so in this case, we have got my iPad Pro. Um, so it's actually, it's an older iPad Pro. It's not even uh, the latest generation. It's the previous generation of iPad Pro. Uh, it's still the kind of angular design uh, that you may or may not be used to uh, if you've used an iPad before. But like I said, we're gonna be using the Steam Link app, which is essentially Steam Remote Play, to remotely connect back to my desktop PC. For those of you who haven't seen it before, my desktop PC is running a Ryzen 9 5950X uh, with an RTX 3090. Perfectly powerful, and at home I've got fiber to the premises, a dedicated fiber line, uh, which is super fast, it's gigabit internet. And where I am today is at my father-in-law's, he also has FTTP internet, so we're really giving this the best chance of working by using really good quality internet connection at both ends of the, of the, uh, of, of the setup. Uh, in terms of premises, we're about 30 miles apart. Not that that's really relevant, it doesn't really matter. But today we're gonna to try and play games like uh, BeamNG, which we did in the previous video, CSGO, that sort of stuff, and see if actually we can get a playable experience and can we play PC games on an iPad? Now I know that's quite a loose statement because technically we're streaming, it's remote play, but I'm starting to get more and more interested in this stuff, A, because I'm working away from home quite a lot, so having remote play access is pretty cool, uh, and B, with the imminent launch next year of the Steam Deck, not to be confused with the Stream Deck, the Steam Deck from Valve, uh, I think this could be one of the things that that's great at. Yes, that's gonna have a pretty decent level of native capability uh, versus other mobile gaming options, um, but it should also do a very good job, hopefully, as it's actually from Steam, of doing remote play. So I wanted to check it out on this, see what it was like. It was recommended to me in a previous comment. Uh, so yeah, let's get into it and see what this can actually do. Okay, so why are we using an iPad and not a phone? Well, there's the obvious thing. Number one, we've got more real estate. We've got a bigger screen. Uh, and then in addition to that, with the iPad Pro, it's USB-C in terms of connection and it supports keyboard and mouse now. So playing games like N uh, BeamNG and CSGO, we have compatible components. So what we've essentially got here is in typical Apple dongle world fashion, uh, we've got a USB-C dongle with uh, two USB uh, 
A port, and it also can do pass-through charging. So if you needed to charge at the same time, that will all work. It means, like I say, we can plug that into the side here. Just give it a second to, uh, to connect up. You can see that's lit up and it's powered, and then all of a sudden, the keyboard is lit up, and the uh, Razer Death Adder mouse here is lit up as well, and there is a mouse cursor on the screen. Uh, a weird mouse cursor, it's kind of a circle, but either way, there's one on there. So like I said, to do this, you're gonna be using the Steam Link app. Now what I'm gonna try and do is I'm also gonna try and screen record on the iPad. So there's gonna be a bit of expectation here because we're running on battery power. Um, we are connected to Wi-Fi, like I said, in a decent Wi-Fi connection, uh, but I'm gonna try and screen record and use Steam Link at the same time, um, which is probably a bit of an unfair test, but I, I think it can do it. I think it's gonna be capable to, uh, and ultimately this is a recommendation from the community, so fingers crossed it works. So. First steps first, we're gonna start screen recording. So uh, for those of you that don't know, on a, an iPad or an iPhone, you can go into control, uh, your control screen and start screen recording, hence the little red icon in the top corner. And it means that I can give you a bit of a screen overlay of what's going on here. So uh, this is my iPad, it's one that I use all the time, but in my gaming folder, I have Steam Link. So this is now checking the connection to my home computer and it has instantly found the connection. So straight away, that's a positive experience. That's a lot quicker than what Steam did uh, when we tried it on a laptop in our previous video. So we're going to start playing. Now this should say, create a connection between this device and my computer at home, give me full access to my library, and ultimately, providing this can translate and communicate this keyboard and mouse back to that computer with lim limited uh, latency, we should get a playable experience. So. Here we go, let's go into Counter-Strike, um, and we go to play, and now this will be launching on my home PC, uh, which will then be streaming it across uh, to my iPad here. Now the only thing that I have read up on is that it does take a few seconds to get a prominent and stable connection. So you'll notice when we very first fired up, there was a little red connection symbol in the bottom right corner, but actually that's already gone. Um, so let's go into play. We're only gonna play with bots, I'm not gonna ruin somebody's online match by going into official matchmaking. And we'll just do dust two as normal, and we'll load in. Um, okay, so this should, in essence, be completely compatible with any other game in your Steam library. Um, there shouldn't be really any challenge. The only thing that kind of comes to mind is if it's a game that is really better played on a controller, so a game that comes to mind would be something like CSGO, no, sorry, not CSGO, uh, GTA, you do need to use a Bluetooth wireless controller with an iPad, a wired one won't work. But anyway, look, we are in, okay. Uh, so straight away, that is in a slightly better resolution. Now, like I said, the feedback I had is we will get a slight bit of an unstable connection to begin with, but then it will stable out. So let's give it a few seconds to do just that. And there we go. So it's definitely got the obvious view of the fact that it's streaming, but this is, this is already a fantastic experience compared to what we did in our last video using a laptop and through Steam. Okay, I don't want to tempt fate, but this is already looking like a much better suggestion than what we tried last time. Cool. Yes, these are easy bots. I'm aware of this. Let's go and put the bomb down. I will apologize for the blue switches on this keyboard. They are quite loud. Okay, winner. That straight away is that's significantly better than the uh, than the app that we were using um, in terms of the Steam app for remote play on a laptop previously. Yeah, I'm I'm looking down mid. Pretty proud of me. Okay, let's carry on.
Now, I must say, one of the only things that is a bit of a challenge is obviously at home, I'm used to playing on a much bigger screen. And whilst the screen on an iPad Pro is really good quality for a mobile device, it's, uh, it's certainly no laptop screen. Okay, cool, there we go. That is fantastic, a significantly better experience than what we tried in the last video. Okay, what I'll do now is I'm gonna get into a different game and we shall, uh, we shall go again. Okay, so this is BeamNG. Uh, if you've not played BeamNG before, I think this is really cool. It's a very physics-based game, um, a racing game, but you can modify it massively, do loads of things within it. It actually has started up the same as what CSGO did. So it's, it started up with a bit of a laggy um, connection, and then it seems to level out. So exactly based on the reviews and feedback that I've read online, this works. You just have to wait for it to get a secure connection, which it seems to do perfectly well. So let's get into this and see how good this one is. Okay, yeah, again, immediately better than the, uh, than the experience that we had in our last video. God, that was such a good recommendation to try out the actual official mobile app. This is working really well. Now I'm wondering, this, uh, this particular dock that we're using, um, because you know we're part of that dock life or dongle life um, does have HDMI out so theoretically you could output this to a bigger monitor well that's battered okay let's uh, let's load up another car uh, you could output it to a larger monitor and get an even better experience let's go with that God, I'm not, I'm not going to say this feels native, but it's not far off. This is very impressive. I mean, my expectations were quite low, given the experience that we had uh, in the previous video. But this is completely usable. As in, genuinely, this could be a perfect mobile gaming solution. Now, don't get me wrong. We've given it the very best opportunity by having... Um, by having such good internet connection at both ends of the stream. But still, I'm massively impressed. Well, there you have it. I'm actually really surprised. This is a viable option uh, for mobile game streaming. So like I said, we're using Streamlink, which is giving us um, stream remote play using an iPad Pro. Now don't get me wrong, like I said in, 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 the, previous, uh, in the previous clips, uh, we gave it the biggest and easiest opportunity by making sure it had a really good strong connection, both ends uh, uh, of that. What it would look like if you were using a mobile connection like 4G or 5G, or what it would look like on a slower connection, that's something I've got to test in the future. But I'm kind of confident to sit in front of you today and say, look, if you've got a decent internet connection at both ends of the stream, this is a viable mobile gaming option. You know, if you are away for a night for work in a hotel or whatever it might be, if you're on holiday and you just want to do a bit of gaming on a couple of nights, you don't have a gaming laptop, but you have a, a beast of a gaming machine at home, this could work. This is a viable solution. So look, thank you very much for the recommendation. I'm really glad I checked this out. I'm really positive about this. I'm excited to see what the stream deck will look like um, alongside it, not stream, Steam, Steam, God. The Steam deck, what that will look like alongside this if it is streaming games. That's never gonna get easy, is it? Stream, Steam, why was that name chosen? Anyway, look, I'm quite excited about that product, so I'm quite looking forward to seeing what this can do. But viably, can you play PC games on an iPad? Play PC games on an iPad. Yes, you can stream PC games viably to an iPad, and it is a 
usable, playable experience, providing you've got a decent internet connection. Guys, if you've got any questions about this at all, stick it in the comment section below. I love to interact with the community. I'm more than happy to answer any questions if I'm able to. If I'm not, I'm sure somebody else in the community will answer as well. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If not, you know what to do, thumbs down. Uh, beyond that, if you wanna support the channel, please head on over to that random geeky guy Dot com. You can pick up one of the Stealth Traces t-shirts. I don't know how well you can see that, but the Stealth Traces t-shirts, I've had a few questions about them. They have motherboard traces all over them, as well as the logo, which I think is really cool. It's a little bit different. It's a great way to support the channel. Uh, you can also donate to the channel if you wish to do so. It helps support doing interesting videos in the future. The final thing you can do to support, which is free, is you can smash that subscribe button. It's free of charge to do, it means a huge amount to me. So hit that subscribe button, hit the bell, I think that still does something. Hit the bell so you're notified of future videos. Uh, other than that, guys, thank you for tuning in. I will hopefully have another video out next week. Until then, please take care.